Hey Remnant family, here we are in the basement, the church, where it's all began, it's all started. We have the, the hot tub slash baptismal tank now. My last one broke, so we had to get another one. Um, but I bought it so I could use it. Uh, but it will also double as a hot tub and a baptismal tank. So feel free. I got a couple of friends who are very interested in being baptized. So Lord willing, that'll all come about. Just wanted to give you a little show of our building and our space. This is where we're meeting on Sunday nights. It's not the biggest. Right now we have seating for... 37 to 45 people last week we had 37 people god is really moving uh it's been a lot of fun we posted the videos i know that um we have uh special speakers coming tonight and we we're doing a series now on uh basic relationship with jesus christ and what that looks like and i got my sister talking i got nick talking i'm going to be speaking a couple times so the lord's moving this is our our little space here and our TV, you know, it ain't the greatest, it ain't the latest, but it'll work. It's, it's, it's moving the kingdom of God forward. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Uh, we're having a lot of fun doing it. Uh, it. All I hear about is how Dave is not a pastor, and that's fine. Because the wonderful thing about the Bible is that you find out that God qualifies us. Because man is always trying to qualify people. And we always fail each other. But you know what's great is God qualifies us. There's so many people out there who have been called to do something, but because man hasn't qualified you, it'll never happen. Step out in faith. Let God be God. I got the Holy Ghost. You got the Holy Ghost. Same spirit of God living inside of you. This has nothing to do with the American dream or the American lifestyle or how I can grow something. This has everything to do with the kingdom of God. You need to do what God has called you to do. Don't worry about what people say. I'm not saying, uh, you know, not listen to authority or don't submit to people. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying I'm anti-organization or I'm anti-religion. Don't say that. I'm not saying that. But what I am telling you is look at the Bible. Look at the Gospels. Look at when Jesus chose the disciples. He went through looking at people and he said, hey, look, come follow me. Come follow me. They didn't look the part. They didn't dress the part. They didn't act the part, but he chose them. Just a little tidbit because I've been hearing a lot of noise and I cancel out the noise. You know, every time I talk to my wife and I think, why did God choose us for this? Why? Well, guess what? There's nobody that cares less about what people say than me. So that's why God chose me because, you know, you're going to get ran through the mud. You know, I, I don't know. Everything in my life is lined up for this time. And it's all for him. It has nothing to do with me. It's kingdom mindedness. If you want to think that um, it's not going to happen, God's not going to move. Because you know what? If God doesn't use me, he's going to use the next person. There's going to be a great harvest. There's going to be a great revival. Why not us? Let's let God be God. Let's let God's will be done. Thank you for checking it out. We got the baptismal tank ready. You know, what, what's also cool about this is I woke up this morning to a couple of my friends texting me <clears throat> and talking about, hey, what about a community center? What about this? My dad's having this Revelation Bible study. It's about the book of Revelation. It starts January 5th, Wednesday. Uh, we're still looking for a place. I have some ideas. We're looking at hotels. We're looking at community centers. So we have enough space for people to come. Uh, invite somebody. It's going to be a great time. Uh, it, it, it's not specifically end times. It's just going through the entire book of Revelations. It's going to take eight or nine weeks. But my dad has studied it his whole life. A lot of his notes came directly from Bishop Frank Tamil. So he went in his office. He went to Pastor Tony Tamil and he said, do you mind if I go through Bishop Frank Tamil's office? He got all his notes. My dad has been studying this for years. It's going to be incredible. God's going to move with or without us. Let God's will be done. Thanks for watching. In Jesus name. Jesus be with you.